Ever wondered what makes Savannah, Georgia so special? Well, you're about to find out. Welcome to the Short Tour Guide. My name's Scott and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this short yet exhilarating journey around Savannah. We'll delve into the city's top attractions, its delectable dining spots, and the best places for a cozy night's stay. If you thought you knew Savannah, think again. So strap in, folks. Hold on and get ready for the short guided tour of exciting Savannah, Georgia. So, where exactly does this gem hide, and what's the weather like? Well, let's delve into that. Savannah, this southern belle, is nestled on the Atlantic coast of Georgia, just a stone's throw from South Carolina. Easily accessible, it's a breeze to reach by car, train, or plane, making it a true southern hospitality hub. Now, onto the climate. Savannah is like that friend who's always warm and inviting, quite literally. It boasts a subtropical climate with mild winters that seldom see snowfall. Spring and fall are particularly pleasant with temperatures that make you want to dance in the streets. Summers, however, can be quite the scorcher, with high humidity that'll make your ice cream melt faster than you can say peach cobbler. But don't fret, the occasional summer thunderstorm is there to cool things down and add a dash of drama to the otherwise sunny narrative. Just remember in Savannah, the weather isn't just a condition, it's a mood setter. Ready to have your breath taken away by Savannah's scenery? Well, buckle up! Savannah's natural beauty is an enchanting blend of Spanish moss-draped oak trees, verdant parks, and sun-dappled squares. Its distinctive architecture, a charming medley of 18th-century colonial mansions, antebellum homes, and modern marvels, adds to the city's allure. The serene river views are the cherry on top, making Savannah a visual feast for the eyes. And that's just the tip of the Savannah iceberg, my friends. Now let's dive into the heart of Savannah, its attractions. The city is a melting pot of history, culture, art, and natural beauty, and its attractions reflect that. First up, we have the historic Savannah River Street. Imagine cobblestone streets, century-old buildings, and the Savannah River as your backdrop. It's like stepping back in time. And if you're looking for a souvenir, the numerous shops dotting the street have you covered. Next, we have the beautiful Forsyth Park, the city's largest and oldest public park. It's the perfect spot for a picnic or a leisurely stroll. And the iconic white fountain, it's the cherry on top. Then there's the Bonaventure Cemetery, a place of serene beauty. It might seem strange to visit a cemetery, but trust me, the Spanish moss-draped trees and historic monuments make it worth your while. It's so beautiful you might forget you're in a cemetery. But remember, no ghost hunting after dark. Fourth on our list is the Telfair Museums, the oldest public art museum in the South. It's not one, not two, but three museums in one. Art lovers prepare to be amazed. Now let's talk about the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Its stunning stained glass windows and intricate architecture make it a must visit. It's so breathtaking you might think you've stepped into a postcard. Next up is the Savannah Historic District. It's like a slice of history preserved in time. From beautiful antebellum homes to historic squares, this place has it all. It's so well preserved you might start looking for a horse and carriage. For our seventh attraction, we have the Mercer Williams House Museum. This house is famous for its role in the book and film Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. It's so intriguing you might start seeing things in the garden. Just kidding. Eighth on our list is the American Prohibition Museum. This place takes you back to the time of flappers and speakeasies. It's so immersive you might start feeling tipsy just walking through the door. Now if you're a nature lover, the Savannah National Wildlife Refuge is a must visit. This place is a haven for wildlife and offers beautiful trails for hiking. It's so peaceful you might forget you're just a stone's throw away from the city. And last but not least, we have the Wormslow Historic Site. This place offers a glimpse into the life of colonial Georgia. The mile-long avenue lined with live oaks is a sight to behold. It's so picturesque you might feel like you're on a movie set. And that's your Savannah must-see list, folks. But remember, the city is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. So put on your explorer hat and get ready to discover the charm and beauty of Savannah. Happy exploring. Worked up an appetite? Savannah's culinary scene won't disappoint. Let's dive into the city's top five restaurants, each offering a unique blend of ambiance and southern delicacies that'll have your taste buds doing a happy dance. First up, we have the Old Pink House. Don't let the name fool you, it's not all about the color. This historic mansion-turned-restaurant serves up some of the finest southern cuisine around. Imagine sinking your teeth into their signature praline chicken or shrimp and grits. 
The ambiance, it's like dining in an 18th century Georgian mansion because, well, you are. Next, we head over to Mrs. Wilkes' dining room where you'll be treated like family. Here, southern hospitality meets comfort food in a symphony of flavors. The fried chicken is legendary. But don't miss out on the collard greens, sweet potato souffle, and peach cobbler. It's like Thanksgiving every day minus the awkward family conversations. Our third stop is Elizabeth on 37th. Now, if you're thinking this is just another restaurant on a numbered street, think again. Elizabeth on 37th is a culinary institution boasting mouth-watering seafood and locally sourced veggies. The setting, an elegant southern mansion that screams fine dining. But don't worry, no need to whisper here. Moving on, we find ourselves at The Gray. Housed in a restored Greyhound bus terminal, this spot serves up southern cuisine with a modern twist. Try the country pasta or smoked collard greens. It's food so good you'll want to buy a bus ticket just to come back. Finally, we have Alligator Soul. No, you won't be dining with reptiles, but you will experience some of the most innovative farm-to-table dishes in Savannah. The exotic game and seafood are must-tries, and the ambiance? It's as soulful as the name suggests. Remember, in Savannah, every meal is a culinary journey. After all that exploration, you'll need a cozy corner to rest. Let's dive into the world of Savannah's accommodations, where southern hospitality meets comfort and style. First on our list is the mansion on Forsyth Park. This luxury hotel is a refurbished Victorian mansion that oozes elegance. With its marble baths and a 600-piece art gallery, it's less like a hotel and more like living in a Gatsby novel. Next, we have the Hamilton Turner Inn, a charming bed and breakfast that dates back to 1873. Don't let the age fool you, though. It's aged like a fine wine, or perhaps a well-preserved peach, considering we're in Georgia. Thirdly, we have the Alida, a tribute to the city's industrious past. With its chic modern design, it's for those who like their history served with a side of contemporary flair. If you're looking for something a bit more rustic, the Foley House Inn is a delightful choice. Nestled in the heart of the historic district, this bed and breakfast is as quaint as a mint julep on a summer's day. And finally, we have the Andaz Savannah, a Hyatt hotel that blends sophistication with a dash of urban vibe. It's like if James Bond decided to settle down and open a hotel. In Savannah, you don't just stay, you experience. And there you have it, a short but exciting tour of Savannah, Georgia. We've delved into the charm of its location and climate, admired the picturesque scenery, explored thrilling attractions, savored the top-notch cuisine, and discovered cozy accommodations. Savannah truly is a treasure trove of experiences waiting for you to uncover. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed this short tour of things to do in Savannah, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and tap the bell to be notified when I drop a new video of another riveting tour. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next travel adventure.